February is American Heart Month, a month set aside to shine light on heart disease, the leading cause of death in Americans. We chatted with the dean and professor of medicine at Wright State University's Boonshoff School of Medicine, who emphasizes the importance of awareness. Back on February 5th, we all wore red for the American Heart Association, but it shouldn't end there. We should be mindful of heart health all year long. Here with some important information regarding the heart is Dr. Valerie Weber. Hi, Dr. Weber, how are you? Oh, great to be here with you today. You see I have my red on too. Yeah, look at that. I know we should be wearing red all year long, right? We should be because heart disease is really the number one killer of Americans. Uh, about 650,000 deaths a year. And um, we've even seen an increase this year and we think it's related to people postponing care for symptoms because of COVID and their fear of coming to the hospital. So a really big issue, and I'm glad we're talking about it today. Yes, me too. I guess the first question I wanna ask you is who's most at risk here? Well, anybody can be at risk. Of course, the older we get, the more likely we are to have the, the conditions that could lead to heart disease. Um, the good news about heart disease is it's very, very preventable. And there's certain things that we can do to modify our risk. So first of all, smoking. Smoking is a huge risk factor for heart disease. Um, untreated high blood pressure, untreated high cholesterol, um, being overweight and a lack of physical activity. Those are all of the things that make you most acceptable to heart disease. And the good news is you can modify all of those risk factors. What kind of signs should we be looking for if we have heart disease? How do we know to go to the doctor? Yeah, so the most common symptom is going to be pain or pressure right in the center of the chest, particularly pain or pressure that appears when you're exerting yourself, when you're walking, shoveling snow this time of year, or doing any, any other kind of exertional activity. Um, sometimes that pain or pressure will go down the left arm. Sometimes it could even go to the back. Some people will describe it as feeling like heartburn. Um, others can have atypical symptoms, and particularly women sometimes will present just with shortness of breath on exertion. But all of those things should make you want to uh, see a doctor and get checked out. If we go to the doctor and we find out we do have heart disease, how do we prevent it from, I guess, even worsening? Or how do we prevent it in the first place? Yeah, so prevention is super important. And again, those risk factors that we can modify. So there are three important things I'd like to, to get uh, three important messages that I'd like to drive home today. The first one is to know your numbers. So what is your cholesterol and what is your blood pressure? You'd be surprised how many people have blood pressure and high cholesterol and don't even know it. And those risk factors can definitely be modified. Lack of activity, um, lack of physical activity, and you don't need a lot. 30 minutes a day, five out of seven days a week, 150 minutes a week. And you don't have to get them all at the same time. So if you park your car a little bit farther from the grocery store, get in 10 minutes of walking, that can all add up. Um, and the last thing is if you're a smoker, it's really important to quit. And 1-800-QUIT-NOW um, um, has a ton of resources to help people quit or talk to your doctor. Okay, all great information. Thank you so much, Dr. Weber, for coming on and shedding some light on heart disease. Always important to keep it in mind. Thanks so much.